I'm Alan Martin. A series of ads is coming to a muni bus near you, and they have people asking, are they hate speech or free speech? KPI X 5s Mike Sugarman in San Francisco with a look at the ads being brought, bought by a group called the American Freedom Defense Initiative. Mike? Well, Alan, there are probably, I don't know, more than a thousand ads on city buses in San Francisco. Just 10 of them, 10, are causing all this controversy. It's a human it's a the point of advertising is to get your message heard. These bus ads are very successful. Ten ads went up on Muni buses today. They point out what some terrorists have said. Killing Jews is worship. Draws us closer to Allah, reads one. The purpose of our campaign is to show the reality of jihad, uh, the root causes of terrorism, using the exact quotes and the texts that they use. She's with the group that put up similar billboards here last year. These, they compared Israel's enemies as savage. The San Francisco won't tolerate Islamophobic bigotry. San Francisco DA George Gascon led a group of city leaders denouncing the ads. The only thing necessary for evil to prevail is for good people to look the other way and do nothing. When somebody like uh, attack our religion is like attack us. I am merely using high profile Muslims and their, their own words. How does that paint every Muslim with the same brush? I don't understand that. No more hate! No more hate! Is it hate speech or free speech? No Doesn't seem to matter much to Muni. No. Can I swear on a bus ad? Um, well, it depends on um, it depends on the issue, depends on the ad, uh, depends on what you're saying. In this case, Muni and its ad subcontractors decided it was well within First Amendment guidelines, but the transit system decided not to make any money over the controversy. But the the revenue would be about five thousand dollars, but we're transferring that to the Human Rights Commission uh, to help support and encourage uh, uh, tolerance. Now, Muni could have fought the the bus ads, but decided. Yeah, it probably was a losing battle and didn't want to spend any taxpayer money on that losing battle. In San Francisco, Mike Sugarman, KPIX 5. Well, San Francisco, just the latest city where these ads are appearing. They have also shown up in Washington, D.C. and Chicago.